Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motide Media and the 66th annual Grammy Awards are done. Uh, what happened? Well, pretty much it felt like the same old, same old for the most part. In terms of the major categories, it kind of ended as you would expect. But because this channel is EDM and dance focused, we are going to look at those categories right off the bat and see what won and uh, give my sort of opinions on, on the winners. The dance electronic recording did indeed go to Rumble. This was one of the two predictions I think I made that actually uh, came true. I would have sort of wished for loading James Blake personally, but uh, I think it's hard to beat Rumble. It's hard to beat the year that Skrillex ended up having as, as well again, having Fred again on this track, um, which you'll see a little bit later in a second here. But uh, this was just a powerhouse of a track that uh, really did solidify this year for me that the Grammys sort of does understand EDM more so nowadays than they did in the past. They they do sort of get electronic, electronic dance music with these nominations lists as a whole with Strong, Higher Than Ever, Loading, Black Box Life, and Rumble. And with Rumble winning, they... They get it. They they sort of do get EDM, or they did get EDM this year, I would say. Dance pop recording did go to uh, Padam Padam by Kylie Minogue. Okay track. I thought the album was okay. I thought this single was okay as well. Personally, I wanted this one to go to Miracle, Calvin Harris. I thought that one was uh, stronger a lot more than uh, Padam Padam did. Uh, but even Rush, I think, was okay by Troy Sivan. I think that one easily could have taken it. Troy Sivan is kind of a weird take for this category just because not so much... Um, dance in the past for Troy Sivan, and so I, I think that one didn't really have a shot. Um, but Kylie Minogue does make sense. Of, thank you for not giving it to the David Guetta ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If either of those won, I would have not been happy. Uh, but, but, um, but, um, sure, why not? Dance Electronic Album went to Actual Life 3, Fred again. Uh, sadly, yeah, the, the worst of all these records. Um, it makes a lot of sense that Fred again did take it because Fred again has got a lot of good publicity and he's been uh, there shining in the limelight and kind of being a uh, sort of a face for the new up and coming, I say up and coming, but like the new, a new face in the dance scene. So it makes sense that Fred again took this, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm just really upset you didn't give it to Skrillex. I'm just really upset that it didn't go to Skrillex. Uh, I thought Actual Life 3 was pretty boring, all things considered, and I think a lot of people agree with me on that. I, I love his live stuff. I love Freddy Gans' live stuff, but, um, yeah, I thought the record was pretty boring. Quest for Fire changed the game of the industry this year, of the EDM dance industry, and so I just, I think it, it should have gone to Skrillex. So, overall, not horrible year for dance nominations. Uh, I think it was... Okay, I'll give it a, a a pass this year. I think it was uh, serviceable is the best way to put it. But uh, let's talk about the big categories, though, and see, uh, give my takes on those. Record of the year did end up going to Miley Cyrus with Flowers. Uh, again, sure, it was the number one song of the year streaming-wise. Um, Miley absolutely killed her performances and her whole persona on stage throughout the whole Grammys was hilarious. I thought it was fantastic. Um, it made me, it gave me a whole new appreciation for Miley Cyrus. I thought uh, she's had a lot of charm and uh, did indeed get herself her first uh, Grammy win. So congratulations, Miley. I think it should have gone uh, other ways. I personally, not strong enough. Kill Bill um, for record, but uh, you know, I I'm not too mad about this one. Oh, but album of the year, Midnight's. Uh, this was uh, pretty boring for me. Uh, personally, Not didn't love this one. I thought Midnight's was probably one of her weaker albums in the past decade. Uh, but, I mean... It, take all if you just take all the albums away and just do by name alone it's hard not to give it to taylor swift i get it she had an incredible year times person of the year that just like yeah she had an incredible year with a tour and everything but this album specifically i get it i get that they give it for more than just it's not they don't they, the grammys really don't just look at albums there's so much more involved there's a lot of uh, political stuff involved and just yeah there's there's more to it so I'm a little underwhelmed in this one. I thought it was pretty boring. Taylor Swift also became the first person ever to have uh, four uh, record of the years, so or album of the year, I should say. So, whatever. Uh, this one's a non... Yeah, whatever. One of the other ones I did predict, though, correctly, was the song of the year being uh, What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish from the Barbie movie. Uh, this one, fantastic. I think uh, the songwriting and performance on this was incredible, second to none. Um, I think this one was just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, although a w was incredible by Lana Del Rey, but when you really get down to it, um, you're not going <laughs> to... Barbie was going to win some stuff. Billie Eilish was probably going to win something. Um, you just, yeah, it, it just... This one makes a lot of sense. So this one, um, I'm quite happy with. And then Best New Artist ended up 
going to Victoria Monet. Uh, from all the stuff I saw, this one I thought was not a bad choice. Um, I'm actually surprised they didn't give it to Fred again, considering he got album in dance category and one with Rumble as well. And so I, I'm I'm surprised. Although I guess Victoria did win on in some of the R and B stuff. So I, okay, okay, I can I can see it. I can see it. Um, of all the new artists here, I'm just happy it didn't go to Ice Spice. I'm just happy it didn't go to Ice Spice. So this one, uh, I'm I'm very okay with. But yeah, those were kind of the main category stuff I wanted to talk about about the Grammys. Then what do you guys thought? Did you think that these were good winners? Were these bad winners? How was this year as a whole for the Grammys? Underwhelming? Did you love it? I thought the whole show was kind of just that. I thought it was just okay this year. I thought the performances were okay. I thought the awards were okay. I thought everything was okay. Okay. <laughs>